I just watched The Acolyte on Disney Plus. And now I'm a Sith Lord. Wait. What's what's going on? Why 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 is why are my lightsabers changing? I don't understand. They, oh god damn it! It's like in the show! I can't control them! I feel so many emotions! actually fucking hurt. Welcome back, you beautiful nerds. I am Wildfire One. You are watching and listening to Nerds is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. This is episode 179, and uh, with me today is... I am back. It's Laser Kid again. I can't get rid of this guy. He's, like, attached to me. Help me. I live send, for you, Wildfire. Send help. Hey man, you made me watch the show. I, I mean, I, I, I did, I did. We're gonna, we're talking about the acolyte, um, on, on, oh, on Disney, Disney Plus, uh, and I, I, what? So the story that leads up to this was that Grizzly, Grizzly McBee was supposed to be with me on this podcast. We were supposed to do another topic, which we'll do another time. But something happened with Grizzly, and he couldn't make it. So I had to kind of re, re, reschedule, redo the, redo our scheduling, and. So I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking like what can we do? And I just got done watching the acolyte. Uh. <laughs> so I just I just feel yeah. dirty. I feel like I need a shower now. But I, I, after I, saying I, it, I just, uh, uh, uh. so I'm like I, I talked to OK and I'm like you know we're we're just gradually bullshitting back and forth on Discord. As and, we I'm, do. and I'm like you know I just got done watching the acolyte. I and I need someone to do. I think the first thing I said was I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. And I'm like I haven't seen it before now, but I I've heard. And I'm like, I need someone to do episode 179 with me, uh, because we just had an opening. And in, and if you guys like, you may or may not know this, but I schedule, 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 schedule. I'm good on. I like plans. Uh, the 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 crew will tell you this. Plans. Yeah. Well, I mean, and even the best laid plans sometimes go awry. So. Oh yes. Uh, I mentioned it to okay. I go. You know what? Um, you don't have to. But if you want, we can do the acolyte. And he binge watched. I didn't know. I I was like, you got a week. You got you have a few weeks to do this. I had I had plenty of time. But the one night, is, I had nothing else to do that night. So I'm just like, all right. It's like the train cr crash. I'm like, all right. Let's see what this man is. One it night. Get, it can't get any worse, can it? It got worse. It can't get any worse, can it? It got worse. One it night. Worse. It was one. I night. watched it in like a week. I watched maybe an episode. I, I wanted to rip that bandaid off and be oh, done with it. Oh. I watched I the oh. out. I watched the first three episodes in like two nights, uh, two nights span, and then by the time it got to the third episode was when I started slowing down because the first two episodes was like okay, this is this is kind the of Star Wars. They're they're all right. The this are okay. This is kind of Star Warsy. I'm I'm feeling it. Okay, well that's not what a Jedi would do, but that okay, whatever, it's fine. Uh, I, I actually live tweeted as I watched. I, yeah, I saw the tweets coming out. I'm like, oh god! But you also sent me what you were saying. I did. I did. So, um, oh man, uh, my, yeah. my 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 main issues with the early episodes were like, this doesn't make sense, but okay. I'm gonna warn everyone watching and listening right now. This is gonna be a bitch fest. Like, this is gonna be the He Man. All over I was just about to say the same thing. It's <laughs> it's He Man. It's the Kevin Smith He Man all over again. I I'm gonna say this right now. I would rather watch Kevin Smith He Man than this. I have to agree with you. At uh, least there at was. Least, at least that had Orko being awesome. I, yeah, I was about to say that. Like at least at least we had some really awesome moments with Orko. There was nothing awesome about this. No, there wasn't. The best things about this was that it finished. And it yeah, I was going to say, it ended was the best thing. It ended, it and then it got canceled. Yes. It's even better. No more of this crap. They canceled oh, it, like, God. what, three weeks after the fucking series ended? It, it had horrible numbers. That's I, how you know you fucked up, Disney. Neither one of us watched it until they canceled. Then we're like, all right, well, we can't, we won't be helping it now. Let's see what this mess is. Yeah, and that's kind of why I watched it. I was like, I don't want to help this because I heard horrible, atrocious things. I heard so much from from people I trust. And now, um, 
if you like this, I, I, I say this with everything we do, yeah. we talk down about. If you like this, it's not against you. It's not against what you like. It's not. It, this I've been a and I know LK has been as well. We've been Star Wars fans since childhood. Childhood. Oh yeah. Childhood. Um, childhood. I legitimately have Kenner Colonel Jedi action figures. I mean. So, as a kid. and I think I've said this in a po- pa- podcast, bad. when we're overly critical on stuff like this, it's because we love the franchise. It's because we want to see it do good. Well, and this is something that, that's been a major issue in the Star Wars community as of late is, I mean, look at what happened to poor Star Wars series. He just said, I don't like this. This show's bad. And he had a bunch of people try to cancel and get it kicked off YouTube. Well, that's the problem is that now just being a critique is political. You know. Yeah, and it shouldn't be because it's just a bad. Uh, okay, I'm I'm gonna bring up our friend J Mac because you know mm-hmm. we're both friends then. And J Mac was some. Well, I was talking with J Mac about it, and you know, woke not woke. I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's bad. It's like exactly. Yeah. I've seen a lot of stuff off TikTok about like how woke it was. I'm not even worried about that. Yeah, I'm not. That was not a problem. The two mothers was okay. Not even that bad. I, I'm actually going to give it a minor bit of credit before we broke this thing in half. Yeah. The handling of the two mothers, the lesbian mother pair, was actually not bad. And it wasn't like in your face. They didn't make out in front. No. And, and it, I'm okay with that. What really worked about that is they treated them like human beings. Mm-hmm. These two people, they were obviously in love. They were, they loved them so, each other. They loved their kids. And there's some story there that we never got. They treated, we never got, which is fine. But what, what really worked is these the, the fact that they were lesbian, it was just a fact. It was not... We are lesbians, and that yeah. is better than you. It, it wasn't in your that. face. It wasn't in your it face. Didn't that. It was just they are lesbians. Okay, so, I, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So the woke stuff wasn't an issue. The stuff that was like, okay, they're les- they're two mothers. That's fine. Okay, this <laughs> this person might like this person. Uh, and, and that's not for me to say that there's no woke shit in Star Wars. Unfortunately, there really is. Yeah, this isn't this ain't it. I'm sorry to the people who are going. Oh my God, it's woke. I'm sorry. This one didn't. I, I didn't feel this one. No, no. This one was okay. The the woke the way the, just just for just for retrospect here, just so you guys yeah, understand, yeah. the woke stuff in the sequels, yeah, was too much. The, this the, was okay. The sequels was was, and it's it's all about presentation. Oh yeah. You could do the sequels with almost exactly the exact same story, but if you executed it differently, it, no one would have cared. We're not, but we're not going to beat that dead horse. We've already done no. podcasts on the sequels, and you know we fucking hate them. And, uh, yeah. So, um, this one, <laughs> it starts off slow, but it's still kind of, it still feels like Star Wars. Uh, it's supposed to be in, what, the Old Republic time? The, the High the Republic. The High Republic. This is, this is a Disney invention that they started with a bunch of books. And the concept of the High Republic is that this is the Jedi at their height, the best the Jedi ever were. Bullshit. Is, well, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into that. Bullshit, I call. Mm. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I, that's actually something. Uh, talk about Yoda. One of the things they made a big deal about in the High Republic in the early days of the books coming out for it is that Yoda was around, but Yoda's ideas, which is what he used in the Clone War era were ridiculed, and he was called an idiot. They used the higher public to trash Yoda. Yep. Fuck you, Disney. Yeah. Fuck you. Yes. Oh, stop it. Now. Stop it. Why do we have to humiliate classic characters? I don't get that. We, uh, we, but, yeah. Uh, however, I, I, Yoda gets the revenge here, because if this is supposed to be the higher public, if this is supposed to be the best the Jedi ever were, why do the Jedi in this show act worse than they do in the Clone Wars ever? The Clone yeah. Wars Jedis work together. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to decanonize everything that happened in that show. Uh, the, the, this show is going to be summarily ignored. It's yeah. Gonna never, it's going to be put in the same place as the Christmas special. Uh, okay, it starts off with, like, this gal... It, honestly, they, they kind of went with the whole Cal Kestis thing, if you notice, with this gal being yeah. like a... Uh, being like a being like a, a Jedi that's she's a Jedi that's left the order. Yeah, she's left the order, and she's okay. she's a mechanic. She's a space mechanic, which she's not supposed to be because that's outlawed and all this other shit. Oh, whatever. We don't even the, the the amount of attention it pays to that is less than we did. It it was like five seconds of information, but I it still it still stays here. This, this is the one thing I'm going to say about the early part of the show. We're, we're we we send two Jedi to go arrest her. 
because she's a former Jedi, and we think that she killed another Jedi because, you know, at the very beginning, someone who looks just like her murders a Jedi. Let's assume you are the, the Jedi or you think it's her. You send two Jedi to arrest her because she's dangerous. She's a former Jedi. You got to make sure she's taken care of, right? Well, also, that also doesn't discount the whole idea she's halfway across the galaxy. Nowhere near where the original fucking... Th yeah, that's, that's another problem. But all right, let's, let's say we believe this shit. All right. So why did you, you send two Jedi to go get her? And then you take those two Jedi and they leave her alone on a prison ship? Be a prison ship that's being being driven right. being driven by droids. Chair the, droids. the chair droids, by the way, I want to say. There were droids that transformed into chairs. The chair droids, yeah. And like I'm gonna say that was kinda cool. Like the Transformer. Yeah. More than, more than meets the eye. It's a cool idea for an autopilot setup, but I've gotta say. You have dangerous criminals, plural, on this thing. Airplane did and, it better. And a considerable, considered to be rogue Jedi. And you have the Jedi on hand. They went to go arrest her. Ro and a rogue Jedi is more capable than, than, than to, to, like, make a fucking prison break. Absolutely. How it's fucking stupid are you? Like... Yes, this is my problem. This is my big problem with episode one and two. Is they made... You think she's this bad, evil, rogue Jedi murdering people, and you put her in a droid-only machine. Also, let's talk about the flashbacks with her sister, which we're getting to. Oh, God, the, where, yeah. where they're where they're doing that like where they're doing that like nursery rhyme that fucking sucks. I couldn't even take serious. It was like oh, uh, it was like I am one and you are two, you are two or so like me, you be or you are me and I am you or some shit like that. Oh God, that okay. The other one well, I actually remember, which is bad because it's terrible, but this, I can't remember exactly how this one goes, but all I know is that it's just like, somebody really likes the idea of twins a little too much, and it kind of put that into that. Mm -hmm. I have known many twins in my life. I had many friends that had a twin. None of them say shit like that. No. No. I, well, I mean, this was supposed to, and spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, don't... <laughs> But yeah, spoiler, you're, you're, there's you're, you're, they're you're, twins. Yeah. They're twins made of the Force. Yeah, they're Anakin Skywalker. They're mo they're basically like the chosen ones, plural. Yeah, they're, they yeah we use, the the lesbians use the Force to make them because well, apparently just anybody can do that now. You know, and they're identical twins. And I, I mean, let's let's also say the lesbians are witches, but they're not the Dalamathi or whatever they're called. What those guys, oh, the they, witches? They, they absolutely are. Are they? I thought well, they were yeah. saying they weren't. Those are totally Dathomir and... Dath yeah, thank you. No, they, they, they make a deal. They, oh, they say, yeah, we are, but we're peaceful. Oh, okay. I, I forgot that part. We press, just... press X to doubt on that one, guys. Shh. And uh, I... I ugh. Look, every time we've dealt with a Dathomir and, like, witches... It, it never ended well. well. Yeah, it never... Oh, it doesn't even well for them! No! It doesn't! They go completely legit. They're genocided at one point. Well, they did to themselves, but here's the thing. They are so violent that... Okay, there are like four versions of this backstory because, oh, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was lied to by the Jedi. Why the... No, the Jedi would not lie to you about that shit. That's... A... Well, they basically pulled, like, what happens if something went awry at a fucking, like... At like a jo normal job, right? Like, oh shit, yeah. I fucked up. Let's cover this up and not tell nobody, and 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 make it worse in the future. And like, and the Jedi don't do that. No, no, they don't. If anyone wanted to cover shit up and go, oh no, that didn't happen, the entire Clone Wars could have been done that way, and it wasn't. And no. that's supposed to be the down, the worst time of the Jedi, and it's supposed to be the best. Why was... is the worst time of the Jedi? Better behaved Jedi than the best Jedi and the best behaved Jedi. It don't make any sense. It doesn't. And like it's supposed it to be, really like you said, the High Republic is supposed to be the best time it, for the it Jedi. Is, it's, it's the Jedi at their best. And it's and not I, demonstrated. I'm thinking that maybe they're trying to say like, or they're trying to make it look like the Jedi aren't like monks after all. They're not perfect. And... Well, no shit! <laughs> they were, the Clone Wars The Clone Wars demonstrated that. that. Yeah, even, even Yoda couldn't yeah, sense what was I, going on. 
I don't mind the idea that the Clone War era Jedi are the worst of the Jedi. That makes sense because they got drowned into a war and became warriors rather than, you know, peacekeepers. Well, let's be honest. It makes sense. And let's be honest, Sidious was Oh, absolutely. A very very like determined motherfucker. He had the long con going. He knew absolutely. what he was doing. Absolutely. Um, and I, I and I will say it makes sense that that is them at their worst. I'm I'm on board with that idea. If you're if you're going to do okay, but let's look at the Jedi at their best, then they better be the Jedi at their best. Also, we get like 5 seconds of Darth Plagueis. Oh. 5 seconds. He's yeah. skulking around the fucking corner. Mm. Nah. My name is Darth Plagueis and this is my TikTok. He didn't even do that. Just people looked at him and went, okay, that's Plagueis. So we know magically it, that's it, Plagueis. Well, I mean, yeah, you could, I, we know because that's what Plagueis looks like. Mm -hmm. um, but he had no lines. He had no intention that we're ever going to find out. He just looked. Really... For those of you watching, it was basically this. Yes. Yes. He was like, he was basically be... peeking in and going and then leaving. And you know what that was? That was like, here's some, that was Mickey Mouse going, huh? Here you go, old Star Wars nerds! You didn't like this! Ha! Huh? No! We didn't! It was fucking stupid! Like, he's off screen, he's off screen, he's off screen again. The end! And there's, like, also, the moment, like, the timing for him to show up, like, it made no fucking sense. It does not make sense. Okay. What's he have to do with, with the, that Asian well, Sith? The, the, impl the implication the, is... The is power of two. To, to bring it all back, though, the, the biggest problem with these freaking... Death Marion Night Sisters is they're already super hyper militant. And as soon as the Jedi go up, they're ready to, to just kill. To the point where the Jedi go up, like, hey, we just want to test these kids that you have. Wanna if they and if they want to join the Jedi, we'd like well, to let them join the Jedi. They're on a they're on a planet that shouldn't even have life on it. Yes. You know, because of some event that happened that we're not ever gonna know about and I'm okay with not knowing about yeah, that, that, that doesn't even matter. And then that's but half right, the reason the two twins exist and all this other bull I don't whatever. Fuck you. Fuck you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The, 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 the TLDR is the Jedi showed up some to where they were and they checked it out and they're like, Hey, you got some kids, we'd like to test them and if the kids want we'd like to train them to be Jedi. And the nice sisters are like, No, no Jedi, we will murder you. You cannot take our kids. Well, at the, and the Jedi. It sounds like the Trade Jedi. Federation when you say it. <laughs> no, 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 Jedi, no, go away, Jedi. Go away, Jedi. Jedi, 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 Jedi is stinky. No, Jedi, that is stinky. Uh, but it, it, I'd understand if the Jedi were like, "We're taking them." Yeah. Period. Then the reaction would make perfect sense. But they didn't even no, do they... that. They're like, they're like, if they want. Well, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give the the the, the sisterhood the. The witches, the cult, whatever you want to call them, some yeah, credit. Yeah. That was their home, and these Jedi just snuck in. You find out later they more did. about they that. Did. But they yeah. snuck in, and they just appear, and they're like, "We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna test your children. Will you let us test your children?" And then, then she's like, "What?" Like the mother, Death Mari bitch is like, "No, your your Padawan's gonna get black eyes now, demon." Yeah. And then like, and then like, you get to see like she's doing shit to his head, and, and later on, but. It was well, just... these are they they're just misunderstood. They they they're poor misunderstood, ready to murder you, screw with your head, Death and Mary. Well, Jesus the Christ. Death and Mary fucked up, as well as the Jedi. Oh, the Jedi are like, we're sneaking in, but we're sneaking in going, hey guys, we're here. They wanted to be sneaky, they could have been sneaky. Oh yeah. They were like, hey, we're here. You know we're here. We would, we know you've got the kids. Oh, we don't have kids. Hi, I'm a I'm a yeah. kid. I'm a kid, oh by the way. Here's the sister that is kind of kind of pissed hey. off and mean and hey. seems mean. Ow. So they test him and the Metachlorians are off the chart. And they did you was it just me? Did you notice this too? They didn't want to say Metachlorians. They didn't want to say but which, what they were doing. Which by by the way, uh if you you guys already know I hate the whole concept of Metachlorians. But I'm because you don't put you don't put science into magic. That's just how I look at stuff. The the way I look at it, Metachlorians are like the the, the power levels of, of the force. Here's exactly where Jedi fucked up. Is they're like, uh, we don't know if they're going to do it, so let's go in and say hi. No, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. No, you shouldn't do that. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Well, you find right. you find out later that they that one of the sisters told you. Well, they're both the sisters were going to lie on the test. Yeah, but one of them didn't. And one of them, one of them, yeah, kind of got kind of got urged into like 
telling the truth which well, she wanted she wanted to be a jedi i, I yeah. get that i get that but i also don't agree with how he did it like he seemed yeah. it seemed to be almost like gaslighting her into you know like let I, her yeah. let her do what she wants to do and if she wants to be a jedi that's good she wants to be a Jedi. That's good, but let her come up with that decision herself. If you're doing it, she, she was saying the wrong thing. He's like, "Yes, you're correct." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was some tricky dicky shit. This is something where I don't think that the show itself is woke, but I think the writers only know how to write certain types of people, and this is the people they deal with in Hollywood. Unlikable people. Unlikable people. People who are tricky. Who are slimy, who pull sheet shreks, people who are quick to violence, people who are quick to, to backbite and to cheat and lie about you. And it just shows because that's like literally every character in the whole show. I every all the even the good ones. Especially the good ones. The only character I grew to really like, if anything, and that was just a minute little bit, was the one that was was May. I I kinda like May. I liked uh, her master at first. Yeah. Um, God, the the that. Asian guy. I uh, Osha at first was cool. I liked Osha until she literally lost her lost her cool at a bad revelation. Yeah. And it's like she killed her master. Yeah. Okay. So master goes. Yes, I did kill your mom. I'm the beast of all now. Yes. Oh, yes. Why? You went from zero to a hundred. Okay. I understand why you don't like him. I get that. Although you also didn't let him explain because there was a lot more to that explanation that you did not bother to listen to. But I get it. Oh, she Although, just force choked his ass. She did. Um, but again, she went from zero to 100. Yeah, it, it went from like, it went from like, is that true? To die, motherfucker! It was... this, is, this is my ultimate problem with this whole show in a nutshell. Is she and her sister both have extreme... ADHD to the point where I like her sister. I can't believe my sister's Jedi scum. I'm gonna kill the Jedi too. I could surrender to the Jedi and we could be friends. You can mind friends. wipe me, and then I'll be fine. And and then she go see the so she says that, and then the next time she sees a Jedi, which is not long after, I'm gonna kill you. Yep. 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 They can't make up her mind. It was it's it's all it's all bad plot device is what it is, and that's what that's the downfall of the storytelling of this series. Is it is that they couldn't pick a fucking they couldn't pick a story and stick with it. No, no, they couldn't. Uh, the only character that was consistent was evil. Make I have a weird face mask. Yes, bad, bad guy. Look he at me. Consistent. I want to be Kylo Ren and Darth Vader. That's all that guy was. He, he, he's absolutely. Um, he is. We have Kylo Ren at home. Yeah, yeah. We have Kylo Ren. At home. Good meme. Good meme. I love Either it. That or great value Kylo Ren pick one. Fucking wish dot com. Wish dot com Kylo Ren. Uh, and he, he was. I, I I liked how the I liked the props. The props were good. That that mask and the ships fantastic. were cool. Um, it felt it's like dirty. older older style ships. Uh. Absolutely. Um, and I will say the sets were pretty good too. Actually. The sets were good. There's a lot of cliffs. There's a lot of cliffs. <laughs> a lot like of the, cliffs. The, the ship, the ship interiors were all very Star Warsy. Were there? Did they introduce any new like species? I think they introduced like a uh, couple. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember. That should tell I you. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head the names of them, but there were a couple. Like the 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 uh, Jedi leader that we deal with, I think is the new species. Yeah. With the green lady, which oh god, with with the whip lightsaber. This is not the first li lightsaber whip, but do you know who had the other one? Who? Fucking Lumia. Who was that? Hey, Lumia. So, in the seventies and early eighties, Marvel did old Star Wars comics that were like oh, okay, between, like Star Wars and Empire between Empire and Jedi, and a little bit after Jedi. Okay. Lumia was one of these characters. Now, uh, another one of those characters was Jackson the Rat, the Green Rabbit Man. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, these comics are notably bonkers, bouncing off walls. I and I completely forgot that Marvel did car comics. Well, for... I mean, you would be forgiven because she was, and I have to put a giant asterisk there, was a incredibly niche character when she was created and then forgotten. I never knew about her back. Just then. like, just like this lead chick from the Acolyte. Ah, but there is a reason she became important hmm. later on. 
Like me, I imagine you fell off the Expanded Universe books after a while. Oh, yeah. Um, I dropped off when I switched from Bantam to Delray, because the first thing that Delray did was they killed off Chewbacca. Yeah. I'm like, why Why would you do that? That's yeah, but, 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 but how he died was very awesome. Oh, sure. But the problem is, is that I... I and this is the problem with the sequel trilogy. Mm. I don't want my classic, lovable characters to have tragic end. But they all, they didn't just stop with Chewbacca. I, I kept up with it. Mm. Um, if you're familiar with uh, Jason and Jana Solo, uh, the the uh, characters from the, uh, the, the Hal and Solo and Leia's kids from yeah, yeah. the Legends timeline, yeah, they turned Jason Solo into a Sith Lord, and then he died horribly. Figures. All of that actually connects to who, Lumaya, because she came back in that time period, whip, lightsaber, and all, and she turned Jason to the dark side. She helped them uh, kill Anakin Solo. Oh, shit. She, and worst of all, she killed Mara Jade. So she was like, she was a bad, she was bad. But point is, this is not the first time we've seen this, but it, the last time we saw it, it was on a batshit character who is absolutely batshit. Well, this one's batshit too, obviously. Yes. That's where I'm going with this. This was not the idea to borrow. It was a bad idea then, and it's a bad idea now. Oh, you know, it was said that a lightsaber is a gentleman's weapon, if you want to. And be. it's a civ from a civilized from era. a civilized age, yeah. So, like, that's not a lightsaber. That's a fucking whip. Who do you think you are, Indiana Jones? The high, the high republic is doing the dumbest shit so far. Disney, you're you're not selling me on the high republic. No, no, this is not very good. Fuck that limpy ass fucking lightsaber. And fuck the lady that's in, that was in charge. And fuck the Jedi Order and the High Republic. And fuck that show. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, the only other thing I want to kind of comment on is just, again, the ADHD consistencies here. We have these bat things that are showing up. And oh, no, no, you can't kill them. Uh, or no, no, uh, uh, they're attracted to light. You do, we turn the lights off and everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we're dealing with... The evil, the, the acolyte guy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, the, the bad, the, the evil Asian. Face mask. Face mask evil Asian. Wow, Fucking... I, can't I cannot remember his We name. got ADHD. Um, yes. Uh, Wish.com so... Kylo Ren. Wish.com Kylo Ren. Uh, they're fighting him, and, and Ocean's like, Master, good Asian. You can't kill bad Asian. You can't do it. So I'm going to break my droid that I love droids. I'm really connected. My only, my real friend, my only real friend. I'm going to break him in half, turn the light on, and pin it on the Sith Lord to kill him. Or at least buy I some mean, time. How does that make any sense? Well, well, what we're failing to talk about is, is that this, this guy is out there just murking fucking Jedi Knights. They, they, they had a whole team of Knights with them. And he's just yeah, and killing them like all nothing. All dead. Getting go and go into like her master and he's having a little bit of trouble with him and she's like okay well I'm gonna step in and be a dumbass here I'm not I and they're telling her like you're not a part of this but you are a part of this but you're not a part of this you're not a part of this and every Jedi you got like with the exception of the mat the her master that you got to know like the 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 Padawan which I kind of liked that was one I kind of oh, liked that Padawan all of them died all of them. Well, and that guy that gets brought up to uh, uh, Wish.com, Kylo Ren. You killed this kid. Oh, you brought him. Yeah. It's your oh, fault. It's you your don't fault. you don't have to kill the kid to stop them from stop hurting you. Again, I'm going to talk about the the freaking go back to the the Night Sisters here. Oh yeah, I was I'm, I wanted to get back to the episode three and where it really got bad. Well, yeah, we're, we're all over the place. That's just kind of going to happen here. And the show is all over the place. We're doing you a favor by telling you what sucks ahead of time. We really are. But they, they, they're they like, no, you can't have the kids. I'm a shadow monster. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Fuck when you. I'm a shadow yeah. monster. So Jenna goes, all right, fine. Lightsaber kills the lady. And then she as she's done, she's like, I was going to let you have the kid. I was going to let her just. The words you turned scary. You go, scary shadow monster, you dumb bitch. She has to, it was like, it was like one minute they were talking. It looked like there was going to be a talk. They were going to talk it through. And then she's like, she turns into the, 
oh, I'm a monster! Which immediately makes everything hostile. Which also... Which, which gets her killed. But I don't actually blame the Jedi on this one, because she went on the offensive, and their killing her was a defensive maneuver. Well, I mean, well, how are you gonna... How are you gonna... She turned into Black Mist. You know what I mean? Like... Yes. That that's and fucking scary. That's an offensive action. She's so, getting, that that's an attack. And maybe and maybe oh, that guy that maybe that guy kind of went a little too far too quickly. And also let me maybe. also let me she was black mist. How did he fucking stab her? Um Jedi bullshit? Disney bullshit. Disney bullshit. Wish.com Disney bullshit. Oh, uh, this whole show. Oh my god. Well, and here's here's the thing. All right, we're going to follow Osha. So Osha, this whole time, she left the Jedi because she had anger issues, understandably. Anger issues because of her past and her sister and, and the everything. things she didn't know and all this other shit. Yeah, but okay. However, Plot device. Even giving, her, even giving her anger issues, she was not a fan of dark side usage, which is why she left the Jedi and didn't become a Sith user. Dark side user. She could have, if that's what she wanted, but she didn't. The entire show is very opposed to murdering Jedi, very opposed to doing evil with the Force. This is she. She has these moral standings that she firmly believes these are the, the right. She's very adamant about the way she feels about these things. Yes, it's not like it's a oh I'm wavering. She no, has her own code. She has her own she code, and she calls it. Uh, if the Jedi are lawful good, she's very clearly chaotic good. She sees Jedi getting murdered. Not happy! Especially when she realizes it's her sister. She needs to be involved. She does not They don't actually try and bring her in. She wants in because she can't let her sister kill people. Yeah. The, that's how important these things are to her. This is a, We're building a character here. And, it's, and these are like the, the presets she's standing on. And all of these precepts are not predicated on, well, the Jedi, did, uh, the, my sister killed my mom. That's not how she should describe. Yeah. That's why she joined the Jedi. That's how she had a relationship with, with the master that she had. But she, wa she wasn't, uh, oh, I'm only good because, no, no, no. She was firmly in this camp. She was building a relationship with that kid who got murdered by a Sith user, a dark side mm -hmm. user. Wish.com Kylo Ren killed the yep, kid yep. She, she, who did nothing wrong. She loved that kid, and nothing that happened to her in her past changes that. So she gets goes and finds out, oh, turns out they killed my mom. I don't blame her for... I can't even blame her for choking out her Jedi Master. I think that was not the right thing to do. I think I, he was happy yeah. she did it. I think he was fucking happy she did it. Her. Well, when he does tell her, he goes into, but it was the right thing to do. No, he didn't even think that. No. Why is he so? He is simply taking a stance that wasn't his. Why? Eh. I think you're right. I think he was perfectly fine with her killing him. Yeah. I think that did not bother him. Here's where I draw the line, though. She is instantly on board with, I am now part of the, of the dark side. I killed my master. Now I'm a bad guy. Yeah. I, 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 oh, oh, yeah. By the way. Lightsaber changes color now. Oh, cool. Yeah, not, 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 you don't have to bleed it. You don't have to do anything to, it just does it because you're dark side. That's also now, this is bullshit. A Jedi, this is a Disney Star Wars thing that started with the Darth Vader comics. They're actually really good, by the way. Mm -hmm. But, um, they, in old continuity, in the, in the Lucas era, it was different crystals. Yeah. Completely. The, the Kyber and, crystals. And the Disney is, yeah, Kyber crystals was only Jedi, and there's a different crystal. Mm hmm. I can't now remember what those Disney, are called, but yeah. I don't remember either, but in the Disney era, it's all kyber crystals. And what would happen is a Sith Lord or a dark side user would take an existing lightsaber and just dominate the lightsaber, bleed the crystal, but the crystal will fight back against you psychologically. It was a, it was a living entity. It's in it's the a, force. It's, a, it's, it's its own entity, and, yeah. and, and it's going to be a back and forth, and you dominate this thing, and you get an explosion and then it changes color. No, I'm just gonna just, uh, put this one. In there. This one started from the hilt and changed it. It just like like it, like it was bleeding it, it, itself. It, it's like you put Kool Aid powder in from the bottom. Yeah. This is Disney ruining its own shit. Yeah, yeah. Disney's basically shitting on its own continuity, which is bizarre because this is actually one of the few good Disney ideas. 
There are some. They yeah. do exist. I think I think the writers were just like, let's do this for dramatic effect. No. Well, we we've heard from the the lady who wrote the series, and she said, "Oh, this was my personal therapy session." That tracks because nothing was edited clearly. There's nothing worried about. Uh, no, again with a okay. I accuse Less Jedi of not editing. This is even less edited. Ah. You lost money. You lost Disney money on this. Oh, tons of money. They spent. Oh yeah, that's the other big thing. All right. They spent so much money on this. Where did it go? The special effects weren't that good. No, the the acting. And that's another thing. The acting in some cases, in some moments, were amazing. The 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 gal that played the yeah. twins did a really good job in some points. I heard problems with the young the girls that played the twins at a younger the age. The, the, I, the kids were fine. They were okay other than the stupid nursery rhyme that they were told to say. Yeah, but that's so writing. That's, the, there's bad direction. That's I writing and bad that direction. Act. I don't think the yeah. acting was bad. Um, no, no. I, I think, I think the directing was bad. Um, I'll I tell you the know. moment that it got so cringy that I almost turned it off forever. You know where I'm going. <laughs> oh, we're, we're going to go there. Yes, we're going there, and I hate it. I hate it so much. It's out on TikTok, and I didn't see the scene, so I had no context, but I heard people <laughs> using the chant. So I finally see it. And I'm just, I'm so embarrassed. I'm embarrassed to be a Star Wars fan at this point. Oh, well, and then, so literally, what is it like a minute before this chant happens? Oh, children, the force is not a power. And it's not, it's not a force. It is a, they don't call it the force. They call it the thread. <laughs> a, the force is not a power. It's the thread. Yes. And then they go into this stupid chant that immediately goes against what they just said. The power of one. One. The power of two. The power of many. At that point, at that point, I was like, is this a Saturday morning cartoon when I was like eight? What are you selling me, Disney? What is this shit? Well, and it's literally, we just said it's not a power. And then we're singing about how it's a power. And we got we got grown ass women, yeah. In, in this scene, and I get acting is acting. I get that a gig is a gig. Twenty dollars is twenty dollars. I get that. Well, but well, it's it's a they're they're a witch coven. They have their own weird weird religious bullshit. But how 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 would any writer that knows anything about the fucking about any Star Wars lore or anything go with that and not go? This is embarrassing. Why? They, they, the clear fact is there, there was no cringe meter on this. That lasted a good five minutes. It did, and they repeated it frequently. It, uh, and it was supposed to be like the, the Rite of Ascension for the girls, and uh, we don't even know what that, and I don't even fucking care. Oh, oh God. Okay, okay, Ascension. Uh, again with the ADHD bullshit here. They have this Ascension ceremony where we're going to pick for the girls to become the next part of our coven here. Osha doesn't want it. Well, you need to do it. Osha wants to go Jedi. You can't do that. Jedi always take kids against their will and do what we don't want. Yep. That's what you're doing, bitches! You basically made these fucking kids to do good sh to do shit you want them to do. You made them! And, one of, them, and you... one, of, one of them said no, you didn't want them. You willed them into existence. Well, one of the one of the the, the sisters on the mothers was good. The, 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 the evil, yeah, well. Yeah. You had, you had like, the warlord bitch mom, and then you had, like, the actual sweet kind of overprotective mom. Yes, although, ironically, it wasn't even bitch mom that, that screwed the pooch. It was nice mom. Yeah. Shadow mom. Who I did not, that, that caught me off guard. And it just, just, you I know. I was getting ready for, for, for bitch mom to ruin everything. Yes. Not, she wasn't actually the one that ruined everything. She's not the one that, that sparked it. It was nice, Mom, that sparked it by going, Run, Shadow! What were you doing? Also, what do you think about, like, when they controlled the Wookiee? The Wookiee... Let, let's talk about that for a second. The, it took, like, 20 fucking... 20 fucking of those sisters to control one Wookiee and make them go against the other Jedi Order. Aren't Jedi supposed to be, like, finely tuned? Their minds are supposed to be finely tuned to understand the Force and not be, like, controlled? All the Jedi are aware this is a thing. So they can probably work on the defenses against that. Well, that's what they, they, they even said that. They said, I've, I've yeah. got my defenses up. And they're like, they, well, he doesn't. And they're like, what? And then the Wookiee's like, ah, going after him. So why did the Wookiee not have his defenses up? 
after they defeat the Wookiee or they break it, the, the spell it they have on it, the, all those fucking sisters just die? You know what that reminded me of? When Luke Skywalker died! That was bullshit too! That was some bullshit. It absolutely was some bullshit. He used the Force too strong. And, that, and Luke Skywalker was one dude! This was 20 bitches! Yep. Yep. <laughs> Wookie, uh, I mean, Wookiees are dangerous, apparently. Yeah. Uh, that was a good fight, though. I'll give it that. It, it was, was a good, good it was fight. A good it fight. was a good fight. Oh. Uh, and, and the action in the show is actually legitimately really well done. Yeah, the, the, the choreography for the lightsaber fights and stuff was, was really good. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, the Acolyte, 1 to 10. I give it a 2. Uh, I think 2 is fair. You could probably do worse. I was yeah. thinking one, but but I'm th- I, I, the I, acting I was okay. It, I said it when I when I watched it, and I stand by it. It is the worst show I have ever seen. Yeah, that doesn't mean that there's not worse because I don't watch just everything. I watch things I'm interested in, or in this case, have been asked to watch. I would rather watch the Kevin Smith He Man while getting my butthole plowed by a spiky dildo. Then watch The Acolyte one more time. I think I'm with you on that one. and I, 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 I just take a spiky dildo out of that, but still. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, I'll, 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 I'll go through pain not to watch this. I guess the guy who played the main character was trying to say it was sexism. Like people were being sexist. I get, uh, that, that, that's why it didn't work. It didn't work because it was bad writing. Yes. Terrible writing, bad direction. You, Hollywood, you guys, uh, Disney, Hollywood, all you guys, you can just stay away from this. Let's blame the fans bullshit. We're the ones that put you where you're at. You are, you did, Star Wars is thriving because of uh, fans like us who love this shit. If, Baloney was a fan. Yes, clearly. I mean, he was also Lucas' understudy. Yo, that's why I mean, so, so apparently was fucking Kathleen Kennedy. Not, yeah, not, not the same. Not no, the same. not the same. But don't give me a turd wrapped in a Star Wars wrapper. Something this else. is this. Is, I'm just gonna blow out the whole sexism thing right now. I'm gonna just just make that throw out the window, and I'm gonna start with this. Name me three Star Wars female characters who are fucking badass. Ahsoka Tano, Leia, Leia, absolutely. <laughs> well, what was what was that one gal that got fired from from uh, Mandalorian? Oh yes, for for, uh, for, for stating uh, political Cara, shit or Cara whatever. Dune. Yeah. Dune. Yep. Um, Ala Secura, the Jedi in the prequel era. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Any of any of the Jedi from the prequel because there's a few females. Oh, there's several of them. Shock T. Yep. Yeah, Shock T is one of the most well-known ones. Um, there's plenty. So you can't go around going the female, the it's not a male protagonist. That bull, that's bullshit, dude. Stop, stop that. What you're doing, all you're doing is making yourself look bad for trying to call out fans for telling you what they like and don't like. They didn't like this. I didn't like this. This was not the Star Wars for me. No, this was not Star Wars. I don't know what this is. Was this was not Star Wars. Turd Wars. Turd Wars. Turd Wars, the next generation. Oh, no, Jesus. But don't, don't gaslight your fans like that. Don't gas... No. And, and Disney... You know, I, I know you guys aren't watching. You don't want you know if it's not your propaganda, it's not you, you aren't watching. But if you have anyone ever has the brains to listen to the fans, listen to this. Take what we tell you. And 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 use it. Look, it the fans, people like us, love Star. If you have someone who still loves Star Wars after the sequels, after this. These are your ride or die people. Not that's like I'm still gonna like Star Wars. If yeah, good. there's. Uh, I'm not. These are your. We are your ride or die. If we're telling you something needs to be different, there's a reason for that. And gaslighting yeah. us, gaslighting us because you think, because you think we should like something and we didn't like it is just not. No, that's that's not. And Hollywood's been really bad about that. And that's what I'm getting to. It, you know, it's mm-hmm. throughout the last last fucking i don't know 20 years it's been like that. i say this i say this i understand there are toxic fans out there for everything i understand that however if you're going to gaslight every fan out there that has a negative thing to say about your product and put us all in that fucking jar of bullshit then you're going to lose fans next thing you know disney you spent all this money on on a 
on a fucking franchise that it's just gonna it's gonna go the way of the Muppets. Um, the power of many. <laughs> the power of one. <laughs> the power. What does that even mean? I don't know. I don't think they know. I think they just wanted something. They they wanted something to sound catchy, like "May the Force Be With You." I feel, I feel, I feel like what they were, what they were going with. It, I, I like what you're doing here. I like what you're saying. They were trying for a catchphrase. It's, but when Disney fucks up, we get the acolyte. When but... Disney fucks up, we get the acolyte and the sequels. I am all the Sith. <laughs> oh no! Well, I'm a Un- Jedi. Unlimited power. power many. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, guys, with that, I think we're going to end the episode. We thank you for watching. We thank you for listening. Thanks for listening to us and watching us rant about this for fucking as long as we have. Uh, We'll definitely see you next week. The next episode is going to be the season finale to where we're going to take a break for a while, a much-needed break, and we'll be back with season 10. Holy shit. Um, Damn, man. Yeah. Season 10 already. Yeah. Uh, But... Uh, We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us. Till then, remember to stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always. Always. The power of one. The power of two. The power of many.